try to keep up. I, I, I try to keep up with everything. I like. I, I don't like not knowing things. That's the best way to put it. Not so much that I want to know everything, but I just don't like not knowing. Literally, if I, if I'm in a conversation with somebody, and we both don't know the answer, I will Google it in front of everybody. Just okay. Let's let's see what Google has to say. And I usually can get. Well, we can usually answer the question. It does remind me of some of the games that I like to play if I'm bored. Uh, the Who adventures. Me of the mages from my era. They were as bad as him. Worse. They were the first to summon demons into the world. I don't like the mages from your age. Uh, some games I like to play, that I guess there's a Twitter account for it too. The Adventures of Florida Man. Uh, you go to Google, you click on news, and then you search uh, for news headlines for Florida Man. And he is uh, either the best or the worst superhero of all time. <laughs> Florida Man. He gets himself into a lot of trouble usually. But that. Yeah. Let's just continue going through the cave. We are almost done with the with uh, the desolate sands once again. Big area once again. I've tried to clear it in one sitting because it does take a long time. That is typically when you want to do it all in one sitting. Is if it's one big thing, then you kind of have to plan ahead a little bit. Well, pretty much the second act is all one. You know, one big area after another, and that might be one of the reasons that you know you don't necessarily like. Well, I don't like it as much as some of the other areas where it's a little bit shorter. You get more breaks, especially in Act One. You get a lot of breaks here and there. Uh, this one, you do kind of have to do it in one sitting. Either. You're not really going to new areas. You're just clearing out dungeons in the same area and then trying to find new dungeons to clear out. And that might be part of uh, part of why this one doesn't necessarily have the same feel to it as the others. Plus, it's a desert, and deserts kind kind of by nature are desolate. Let alone have something called the desolate sands, where you know no real interesting things to say. And we got plagued. Uh, this is probably one of the most deadly normal ones that you'll encounter. Uh, normal, like, magical upgrades that these guys get. Just don't stand where they are, or if you do, be tanky like me. Then it's not an issue. Now, those are just area of attack spells. The land's trying to fight against me, like these slime spears. Although the slime spears usually have something in them. Uh, not this, though. Uh, I did mention that I've been playing Xeno Saga. Oh, shit, that's the way down. I don't think I fully explored everything. Xenosaga, I would recommend it if you guys are into uh, deep stories. Uh, it is a long game. It is a cutscene heavy game. Yeah, we need to fully explore the rest of this. But, you know, it, it's a game worth checking out, I would say. One game that I feel like didn't get the attention that it deserved because it does at times. And by at times, I mean about half the time. <laughs> it does end up playing more like a movie than a video game. A uh, video game... Yeah, it's, it's one of the video games in which you don't necessarily do a lot during certain parts of the games. There is cutscene intensive. Not to the point like uh, Heavy Rain, which I have seen where... Heavy Rain is an interactive movie. You can say what you want, but... Uh, like, you're not getting into battles or anything like that like you would in, in Xenosaga, you know. It is a classic Japanese RPG, just a lot of cutscenes in Xenosaga. Uh, Heavy Rain's just really an interactive movie, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's one of those things where it all depends on your style. If you want to kill a lot of things in a game, then, you know, that's probably not for you. If you're, if you're built for hack and slash and things like that, that's probably not the game for you. I'm really primarily focused on stories. That's, that's what I like in video games. So that's what I tend to focus on. And then the battle system is secondary, but uh, the battle system is also important. If, it's, if I find it lacking, then, you know, I won't have fun in a lot of games. But as a result, there are a lot of games that I do really do enjoy uh, that a lot of people don't necessarily enjoy 
as much as I do. I go around, right? Yeah. That have a good story, but maybe a little iffy on the controls, or the controls are a little unique in the gameplay style, and a lot of people don't necessarily like that. I would start naming names, but I don't want to get people's hopes up. I, I have gotten a lot of requests over over the course of my Let's Playing career, if you can even call it a career. Uh, I, I My standard response now is I don't have any plans to play it soon. That's my standard response to for any request, and that does not mean that I will not play it. Uh, if if I was if I if it's a game that I absolutely refuse to play, Shadows I will say open. that. We must be getting close. But if it's you a game enemy over there, then let's cleanse it from this land. That I would like to play, I just there are other games that I would like to get to first, then My pack is full. Is it really? It is. Let me finish my thought and then we'll move on. If I say that it's a game that I don't have any plans to play soon. That literally just means I don't have any plans to play it soon. I have plans to play it. It's on my list. Once again, there's a list for everything, uh, but uh, there are other games I would get to first before that one. With that said, I need to go back to town and deal with my full pack, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in town because there's quite a few things for me to go over. I have a lot of new equipment. I do have new shoulders. They gave me more strength and magic find, plus more defense, so that's always nice. I do have a new amulet, just gave me more vitality. I transferred the gem over by removing it with Shen and then putting it right on. I do have a new belt, uh, more strength, 55 armor, more strength. I think these are the same. They are two new weapons. Uh, 31.5. Lots of light leech off of that one. And this one gives me plus 52 strength. And then I put an the, the ruby over in that one as well. Transferred that over. And I think everything else is the same. But we are up to 158 even DPS. The Enchantress also has a new item. I picked up mirrors. She can use the mirrors. These are relics uh, for the... well, only the Enchantress can have the mirror, but each one has their own relic. Uh, this was the better one. I picked up two for her. Uh, that's pretty much it. Not that it's that great for her. I would just much prefer her to have plus intelligence somewhere there, but what are you going to do? I uh, gave her plus 24 vitality on the amulet. Uh, Everything else is the same. Still need to find her a better weapon, but nothing else gives intelligence. Uh, she's up to just under 15, so she's doing less than 10% of the damage that I am with a normal attack. In terms of the other guys, um, I do need to give them a level 20 skill. Increases critical hit chance or temporarily deal more damage every time I get a critical. This one I think is better because I do use Whirlwind and uh, Cleave, so anytime that I get a critical it will cause more damage, not that I'm going to use him, but that would be better for me in the long term. Templar also needs to get a skill at level 20. Knocking back heals me when I'm low, increases my resource regeneration. Guardian, I think, is much better for my build. Once again, not that I'll be using them. It has been a long time. Uh, they have needed those for quite some time, but I've just been slow to give it to them. Okay, let's head back. Socketed Third Eye of the Hawk. Not that it's going to be good for me. Uh, I believe that is a monk-only thing. Uh, there shouldn't be much here on the... On the second floor of the cave, but I will take whatever it can give me. Now, you could argue that at this point in the game, it would be better for me to have one of the other followers with me. I just like having the Enchantress with me pretty much at all times. What is this for? Fortune! Give me that as soon as possible then. I would like Magic Find. Magic Find's always good! Give me better items! Does apply to the gold too. It doesn't always, as you saw, there was definitely a different thing uh, on my stats for 
magic and gold, they're not always synonymous that when you increase one you'll get the other increase as well. But with the magic find, f with the fortune shrine I should say, you do get bonuses to both. Now I am probably still completely overpowered. I was to begin with and I'm more powerful now. I think I was doing just under a hundred DPS on last time we were in town. Now I'm doing 158, so I'm increasing my damage by 50 percent. Because that's what we needed. More damage from me. <laughs> even when I'm slow. Even when even when they put the slow on me, I am still too powerful for them. I like don't e I don't even have to care really about anything that they put on me because I'm just that powerful. And that's partly because I know what I'm doing uh, when it comes to building up my character, but it's pretty much this easy. This is what I did the first time I went through. Uh, maybe I wasn't as good about picking strength and leech life and all that kind of stuff the first time I went through, but you know, I didn't have a hard time the first time I went through this. Um, once again, I can only speak for barbarians. I haven't done any other class. So, when you're a barbarian, it's always this easy. If you are another class, it might be different. Your results may vary. Results are not typical. Now I have to go through the 30 second clip of all the things that my build will cause that wrong. Freaking. Oh, well, I know that only happens in America. I know that. Every other country, well, first world country, I, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I saw it. I saw it from a reputable source, so I have heard that in every other country in the world, except for America, uh, pharmaceuticals are not advertised directly to the patient if they are prescription strength. Uh, but here in America, if they're prescription strength, that means they still air ads directed to the patient. Tell your doctor to give you this. I heard that doesn't apply anywhere else. I don't know, just something to think about. Because I know that's a huge part of American culture right now. Anytime you turn on TV or anything like that, somebody's trying to sell you some drug. Just doesn't happen in other countries. Something to think about. Let's head over here because his blood was over there. So let's fully explore this place first, and then we'll go back and get it. Try to get all the gold, all the other stuff. Once again, I am completely overpowered. I probably don't need to, but the completionist in me will not let me just head straight there. Just not going to happen. Is there anything else? No, there's not. So we'll continue going. And I should be able... Wow, this goes on a little bit further than I thought. I was about to say, I should be able to, to finish this one off in this room, but no, no, it just keeps on going. Does it go in a circle? Who knows? Well, no, because there was no other place for it to go, but could all end up being on the way down there. God, I'm one shot everything now. And that's why I like having the numbers up at all times. All times. I forgot what gameplay option it was to have the numbers up at all times, but it really does help sort out numbers and, and abilities and all that kind of stuff. It really does. I'd recommend it, but I... Once again, I'm a math nerd. I'm learning linear algebra on my own time. If I'm if I'm not a math nerd, I don't know what I am. Really? Not gonna give me anything. There's gotta be a chest here. There has to there's a dead adventurer. I'm always curious what kills these guys at the end of long narrow passages like that. Can that wizard ever reform his ways? I do not think so. What are you trying to say, Enchantress? You trying to talk about Zoltan Cool here? He can hear you, you know. He always hears. Did I pick up anything I don't want? Oh, I barely picked up anything at all. <laughs> Feels like we were here for a while, but no, not so much. So let's keep going. We have quite a ways to go. Uh, I will say this, though, that Act 2, even though it's still pretty long, I would say that is shorter than Act 1. Act 1 is pretty damn long. And then Act 3 and Act 4 are shorter than this as well. 
Alright, let's read his journal first. The Black Soulstone will be my greatest work. My legacy and my gift to humanity. There will be wars to come between man and the creatures of heaven and hell. The power housed within my stone is the very thing needed to set mankind free from demons and angels forever. There is no dance command? There is no dance command. Are you serious? No, probably if I would die? I can choose to die. Why would I choose to die? Hero emote. Uh, whatever. We're done. Uh. Oh, by the way, there are hotkeys on your numpad. Help! Come with me. For multiplayer. For you. Thank you. I'm sorry. We will meet again. Your life is at an end. Get out of here! Hold on. We must go. And those are all the different things you can say. Each one has multiple variances of that. Those are all ten of them, though. All ten of types of things that you can say. Nothing? Yeah, there I have we go. Heard whispers of your death. And Zoltan Cool doesn't have anything to say? Just four guys? There are not very many people guarding this thing. But looks like now we have to look for the archives of Zoltan Cool in the desolate sands. Uh, we have been pretty much everywhere, haven't we? My archives are at the northern tip of the desolate sands. There we will find my body and the Black Soul Stone. That's what I figured. Everywhere except for that path out to the north, which is once again why you want to do this big area in one sitting. I mean, look how big this place was. We've spent the entire session here so far. and Pretty much as soon as I make it to the other side and find another uh, waypoint, that's going to be it for the session. It, it's a big ass area. Did, I'm still mad that there was nothing here. I must have done something wrong or they're just trolling me. It's entirely possible that Blizzard is trolling me. It is Blizzard after all. They would put that kind of stuff into this. Just be like, oh, there's a portal here. But when you, you click it, it's just an ancient urn or something. Yeah, they'd do that. They would do that. It's not nice though. Step in the bug. Fear and anger lie over this place like an ominous shroud. God. <laughs> Two shouting everything. Since they're all lined up, it works out very nicely. Here is the entrance to my archives. Let me activate the portal. It looked like it was already activated by the time. By the time he got there. But what do I know? There is a hunter's journal in the back. Number four? I still need some of those. Why aren't they giving me hunter's trees? I didn't fully complete those yet. Canes I got, but the hunters I don't have. Okay, into the archives. The archives. Go to the terminus. I had to build all of this for my research and my experiments. Now this the place. black soul stone was a complicated creation. I sacrificed much to make it. That is one evil Jafar ass laugh that he does when he leaves. Looks like I got here just in time. Emperor Hakan? What are you doing here? That's a good question. Good. Everyone's together. I came to tell you. I have found Bilal, and I am ready to lead you to him. Then the Lord of Lies will fall as soon as we recover the Black Soul Stone. All well and good, but first I will be made whole. Why? We're ready to do our part. Just you remember yours. And Leah is now following me. Very nice, but Emperor, Emperor Hakan wants something to say. Who is it? Have you discovered Belial's identity? Yes, but we must be very careful. He has noticed your actions and he grows nervous. You focus on the soul stone. We can confront Belial afterward. Fair enough. Anything more? That's it? That's it? Alright, so let's head back to town using the waypoint. 
Uh, I'll talk to you off screen. You're not that important, Templar. Adria, though, is important. Tell me about magic. Leah is growing powerful. The power was always within her. Now, she's learning to control it. You passed it on to her, then. I do not know where her power comes from. I spent a lifetime studying the ways of magic. It did not come so easily to me. Interesting. And that's all she has to say. That is it for her. And that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Diablo 3. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our barbarian, the Enchantress, Leah, Adria, Tyriel, people I don't care about, and Squirt. Spin for me, Squirt. They never spin. This one doesn't spin. The squirt's broken. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.